Welcome to Mango Tries Apico, Apico, something along those lines. It is a really cute game that I'm very excited to show you. And I do want to say thank you to the developer for um, gifting me a key to try this all out. And I've already actually done a little bit of gameplay, um, which I think I've played about three hours already. I was like, oh, let me try it out. And then the evening disappeared from me. So that's always a good start. But I do want to quickly mention a couple of great things here about the settings of this game. This is a really small development team. And I was really impressed to see we have accessibility um, settings, which just to me is so important. Um, so you can have things where like some of the mechanisms move automatically. I've done walk through trees because I got annoyed. Um, but you can have things like always expand the tool tips, but also high contrast. So if you are um, suffer from sort of color blindness issues, anything like that, the, these options are here for you, which is fantastic. The mechanisms move automatically is great if you um, suffer from any sort of form of repetitive issues when you're playing games. And this is such a chill game that honestly totally makes sense to actually turn that on. But there we go. Um, that was me sort of talking through those bits, which I just thought was so important to show. It has mods already. It is based on a mod in Minecraft. I think it's the forestry mod this game was sort of inspired by. And they, um, the developer very sort of openly on Steam was like, well, we, we're inspired by a mod. We can't have a game without mods. So there is mods here. I haven't installed any for this little um, let's look at the game and uh, yeah there's multiplayer local co-op all sorts of good stuff as you can see I was playing there but I am going to do a new world um, so let me just sort out my little avatar you know me anytime that I can have white hair I'm going to I'm very excited for when my hair turns white it has to be said let's set sail and here we go. Dear Mango, it was so lovely to get your letter last week. I think it's wonderful that you're taking an interest in beekeeping again. Both me and Gramps had always hoped you'd want to carry on the keeper family tradition. And there isn't anything more enjoyable than being out here with the bees. Plus, I'll say it, it'll be a well-earned break from that busy city job of yours. I posted you a ticket for the next boat that comes in. Skipper will be overjoyed to see you again after all these years. Have a safe journey and I'll see you soon. Love, Nana. Can't wait, Nana. Oh-ho, we made it, Mango. And just as Ya was getting your sea legs, oh-ho, here we are, Port Apico. And what a lovely day it is. It was jolly good to have you aboard again, matey. Takes me back. Do you still remember your way around the place? Oh, no problem. Here, have my map. I know this place like the back of my boat. And we've got a map. Okay. Also, I do just want to point out right here, I love the fact that pronouns are automatically included here. It just, I, it's inclusivity. I love it so much. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, you best go see the old girl. She's just at the end of the pier and down to the left. She's been a buzzing ever since you let her. Oh. If you need anything, just holler. I've got a few trinkets you might find useful. Now off you go. Luck of the hive mother be with you. And remember, a smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. Oh, fantastic. And this is just auto um, playing. You can kind of tell that it is an a auto thing because it's sort of like um, in that widescreen mode. Oh, Mango, it's so wonderful to see you. Let me get a good look at you. Uh, next. Have you been eating properly? Who's been feeding you? Have you had breakfast? Shall I put the kettle on? How was the boat over? Did you feel sick or... Nana Belia. Oh, what a cute name. Sorry, it's me getting carried away. It's just so good to see you again. I was so excited when I got your letter. When you said you wanted to get into beekeeping, I was so pleased. It's been a while since we've had a keeper in the family. Your father never cared much for it. I was looking through Grandpa's old things and found the guidebook he was writing. There seems to be quite a lot missing, so maybe you can fill in the rest. It would mean a lot to us both. Hey, guide. Hey, we've got a couple of books already. You can view the guide at any time with G. 
If you ever get stuck, just have a look through and I'm sure some of Grandpa's wisdom will guide the way. Well, anyway, look at me. I'll talk the ear off a bee. I better let you get settled. You probably want to go and explore the island. If you need anything, I'll be back at the house. Be safe. Fabulous. So, we have in the bottom uh, left there, Welcome to Apico, Click to Claim Reward. And we've also got the song that's currently playing. Um, can I hear it? Not really. Um, I'll leave it at the volume it is. Hmm. Always a bit awkward when you're a content creator because you, I like to make sure that the music comes through and the sound effects come through all nice and balanced. But anyway, enough about that. Whilst I do a little bit of exploring, we will check the book out and everything. I am just going to uh, read through the Steam description. Abigo is a laid-back beekeeping sim game about breeding, collecting and conserving bees. Set in a series of lush environments, Abigo uniquely combines resource gathering, biology and beekeeping mini-games, taking ideas from a mix of real life and fantasy apiculture and floriculture. Um, also, the developer has got a hashtag called Save the Bees, or they're joining in with the hashtag Save the Bees. I don't know if they started it, but hey. Um, on their website, they state, these are integral to our gameplay, as they are to our real-world ecosystem. We want to promote bee conservation, and we'll be donating a portion of sales towards national and international beekeeping and wild bee conservation charities. So, yeah, there we go. I, I'm pretty impressed with um, all of that as well as the game. So what we're going to do is just have a look at the guide. The guide is fantastic. It really does sort of walk you through everything. I'm not going to actually massively walk you through all of these. You'll see me do these quests as we sort of go through. But I'm not going to read all of these chapters out to you. If you want to, you can, of course, pause the video and read. Although, I know you're all smart enough to work that out. Um, so, yeah, we, we'll just claim the goodies because uh, I've already done it. You can see that the, uh, what is this called? The hot bar is up at the top and you carry your books with you um, regardless. So, I am going to just take down a few trees here. Uh, just to get started. And then this, I mean, this looks like this might be good. I don't know if I want to, I mean, being this close to home base, I mean, this is the town, and then we can just walk across here. By the way, you can't walk here. You see that we're stuck, but we can wade through the shallow areas, basically. So, I mean, we've got a bed there. We have a workbench already, although I do need to craft one for the quests. Um, there is already a, a common bee in here. There's a whole bunch of sort of items in this crate, so that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, we could move it. I do like the location. That is the question. Hmm. Do I want to stay here? I think so. Yeah, all right, I've decided. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to strip all the trees out from here. Um, oh, hello. I, I can't take down a tree with a log, apparently, which, you know, okay, fair enough. Um, so, yeah, you just left-click and aim. Now, I know that developers are working on the game at the moment. They do have partial controller support, but it's not full controller support. I don't know what that means. I don't know whether or not that means that like an Xbox controller works, but maybe a PlayStation doesn't out of the box, or um, maybe the Steam controller isn't hooked in yet. So, um, but I do have... I feel like the developer will, as soon as they actually get the code done, um, ship out an update. Because there's been quite a few updates. I've had the game for about a week, I think, which isn't that long. Um, and there's been quite a few um, updates. Now, um, ah, wow, I'm just getting so much stuff here. So we need to craft a saw bench, which is fine. Let's go. Oh, wow, I've got another. Okay, if you hit E, you can open up a larger um, inventory there. You can see it tells you E up here. The, the UI on this is just so good. Um, right, so we want to 
craft saw bench. Yep, there we go. Crafting done. Um, can I? Yeah, I can pop it down. Also, if you hit shift, it, um, all of your items sort of click to a grid, uh, which is pretty good. So we are going to want to um, pop in the items. Now, you can move your um, windows around however you want. You can also click um, this button, which will cause it to target, because you can also open another window. You can have, like, loads. At some points, you just have, like, it's all brown in here. Um, but what you can do is, you because you, I've hit target, that's going to pop it in there. If I turn that to target, it would move it over there. And then uh, you can't target your own inventory. So, um, but that's how you can sort of choose how you want to, where you want your shift click items to go. Now, um, soaring here is as simple as click and hold and pull it backwards and forwards. Um, as I showed you in the options, there is accessibility options that means that this is uh, not required. I really like it because there is a upgraded version and it's very easy to get to and we will get to that today. But what I'm going to do is just get a whole bunch of materials. So you don't have to watch me go through this and um, we will then check out some of the cool blocks and items. So now we have the ability to craft lots of different tools. Because I've played this game, I know how important it is to actually get tree tappers going. So we'll get um, a couple of those going. We'll also um, get the first couple of tools. I will do these in a sec. I need more sticks. Um, but before we do that, I am going to go pop a tap down on these trees. Now, when you, once you've fully tapped a tree, um, you need to collect the liquid output. Once you've done that, you cannot tap a tree again or this tree again. You have to basically destroy the tree and replant. It's kind of cool. And yeah, I just thought I'd quickly let you know about that. Now, um, of course... And there we go. We have a couple of rewards. So we got some stone as reward, which is great. Um, it's asking us to do building, which we'll do in the next one. And it's telling us all about the menus. You can actually spend time sitting on the bench. And you can see that our time clock there has just sort of increased, which is great for when you need to pass the night. Because bees don't particularly like the night time, or a lot of them don't, especially your beginning bees. So that is fantastic. Now, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you um, how you can get stone. You, of course, saw that I got 50 stone from the reward. You can also get it from these little items. But these big stone blocks, we need a stronger pickaxe. Now, because we have stone, we can actually pretty much immediately move up to the stone tools. And, you know, that's pretty cool. But for right now, what am I going to do? I don't need that. Um, I don't need anything here. So I'm just going to clear these notifications right now. And we can see all of the beautiful blocks that we can currently make to make our building just, well, beautiful. Now, from the tea trapping or the tapping trees uh, item there, we actually got the thing we need. Don't, oh, don't pick at that. No. I'd like to put this in here so I can get my trees tap sap. Tree tap sap. Say that 20 times fast. Right. Okay, whilst we were sort of having a little bit of an explore earlier, I did notice that there's another building over here. So I'm actually going to go over here and pull it down. And we can then utilize the, the building um, at our current base over the other side. Um, I think this area is going to become sort of like, um, oh, our tree tapping and, and harvesting zone. Um, but yeah, so we'll just grab all of these goodies and take them over to our main base here. And these have actually got water in, which for the moment, I'm probably going to leave. There is a reason I'm going to leave them um, is because if I pick this up, um, this water will disappear. So if we actually get like a little container that we can collect that water, we don't need to worry about it too much. I also picked up a hive, you probably noticed. 
Um, you can do that with the hammer. Any building placement, you can uh, move around with the hammer, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I am just going to uh, just hopefully. Oh, these are like weird blocks that sort of like show the grass through. I don't fully know what they're useful for at this point in time. Um, but I thought we can not apparently use this. What's this? Wood wall. Yeah. Wood wall. Oh, you can't place walls on top of things. Okay. Well, there we go. I learned. Excuse me. There isn't. Oh, was I in the way? Oh, okay. All right. Let me fix this. Oh, okay. Now I understand it, I think. You have to put a wall down and then you can put a window in. Aha! I understand! <laughs> ah, as dawn is breaking, this is the perfect time to actually start talking about bees because we've been playing Apico. It's a bee game and I haven't shown you any bees. Well, uh, there was a reason for it because it's just nice to set up your base first as well. But also because I kind of wanted to talk about this section here you see these sort of like icons um underneath the hotbar they're actually the bees you've discovered which is pretty fabulous um and i'm just gonna pop um oh whoops let me redo that uh give me that back i'm going to line these up to a grid and we're just gonna pop them next to each other now you, i'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if you pop the yellow bees in the green hive or vice versa. And I don't know why I did that. There's going to be people going, why did she move the left one to the right side and the right one to the left side? I don't know. I just did. Okay. So basically for the moment, what we're going to do is we're just going to pop beads, bees even in here to breed. I'm not going to worry about them, but we have forest and we have common. Now you can also see that they require flowers here and currently there is no flowers. But what we can do is pop some down for them. So I'm just going to plant a couple of flowers. I'm going to go pick up this yellow one as well so it makes them happier. Um, uh, there we go. And you will see that the bees just get very happy. Now, the bees will actually have effects given to them by these flowers. We don't currently know what they are. We will do in the future. Um, but let's check out what we have in here. So find, uh, finding bees even, we have two, but not the third one, the verge bee. And the verge bee is nice and simple. You've probably seen it down here earlier and people are like, whoa, what's that? It is the verge bee. So we can now actually... Um, just grab now you just saw i pressed the button there what it does it just auto populates them through and if we go and grab a grab even a blue flower because they like these blue flowers um, and pop that next to them and just keep them happy there we also have another forest hive here i am just going to for the moment just keep cycling these bees the cycling of the bees gives me um what are these called honeycombs which is very important and um, that's just going to keep me going. Now, let me uh, just uh, drop off stuff here. And we are going to have a look at our reward and claim. Now, beekeeping 101. Now you have some bees in a beehive. You can start breeding, which is very exciting. What they want us to breed is 10 common bees, which is uh, pretty easy because we have the common. Um, hang on. I've got a beehive. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, bees, you've made flowers in the way. Ah, okay. I guess it's going there then. But if we have a look um, at our chest even. There we go. I have a, what's this? A common bee, a common queen even. And it's a blessed bee. I don't know what the blessed bee state is yet. I haven't yet found that out. And as I said, I've played for three hours, which is kind of amusing. What we're going to do is do a little bit of exploring whilst those bees are breeding and just go through. Now, the, vis uh, the visitors note the town villages, the villages is the word I was looking for, have um, dialogue as you progress. 
Um, so, oh, hello, dear. How are you getting on? It's just so good to see you again after all this time. Don't forget to check your grandpa's guide with G. I, I don't forget. I keep, I keep checking it because it keeps getting on at me that it wants me to do uh, be, uh, building blocks. Oh, that's why. It's because I've completed it. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, now the other villages, not Granny, are um, shops, in essence, and they have various different items. We will need to start selling items to actually get it, but as you can see, we have zero currency. Zero rubies, as it is said here. Now, you can use all of the items around here. You can see there's an actual proper apiary. I think this is an extractor. This one's um, like the how you scrape the wax off. I forgot what it's called. Um, but yeah, you can come here to town and use all the items before you've created your own. This is really interesting over here, the High and Pumper Gate. I don't know what it is. If I hold shift on it, it says it was said that gates used to connect the islands together, but no one seems to remember how. Which... When I press M for map, look at the size of this. So there's other islands down here. I haven't even been to them. I'm super excited to get to them. Um, there's like a, an altar here that we need to get blessing for. So there's like a whole story behind um, ju not just the bees, getting the bees. But I've come over here because well, in my sort of little playthrough, I was looking for a very particular type of bee. And I found it over this way. Um, but also, we should probably pick, pick up um, various flowers and lily pads. Lily pads gives us waterproofing, I think. Um, and it does kind of want us to just get sort of like uh, five different flower types. So we'll, we'll do that whilst we're having a little search for a particular bee and getting stuck on the deep sea, apparently. Here we go. This is a bee we don't know. So I click it and we get this remarkable sort of pop up. We have a new discovery. And when we click learn more, we can actually get into the bee keeping book. And this is the uncommon bee or the Apis raris. To the casual observer, Apis raris is indistinguishable from the common bee. To the learned scholars, Differences in thorax patterns and wing vibrations signal the start of a new genetic path for the common bee. What you can see here is its conversation, conversation, conservation, not conversation, conservation status is lost. And you can actually rehabilitate the whole of your game file. It's really cute. And also you can see how you can create new bees. And we'll get through some of those for sure in our little let's look. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab these. Um, I'm also going to grab the hive actually. Because we're going to, we're just going to bring it along for the ride. So as far as I'm aware, um, that is all of the bees you will see in the wild right now. The rest of the bees, um, you either need to go to a different world or breed them yourself or you need to find them in another manner. <laughs> Spoilers for a head. By the way, there's a whole bunch of stuff that will tell you information in here about all of your different bees, which is very cool. As you can see here, the thriving status. I think it's um, stated that the common bee and the forest bee and the verge bee were all saved by Gramps, which is just very cute. There's also a whole component about traits and inheritance and all of that stuff, but I'll let you guys um, get into the game and discover that for yourselves. Or maybe if you want a few extra episodes, do let me know in the comments down below. And maybe we can go through that a bit in a future episode. Now, um, let's just continue with all of the grindy work. The beginning part of this game is grindy. If anybody's played Forestry, that tracks. It just is. Um, but it very quickly becomes like not unmanageable, but a little bit unwieldy, actually. It's quite amusing. Okay, what I want to do is get flower power off. So I need to go make sure I have um, five flowers. I think the flowers I was missing were the red ones. So let's go grab those. 
And there we go. Flower power. And now we have Abby's Folio. So that's the final book down here, which will tell you all sorts of information. And on each one, for example, the Honey Rose, it has no um, special effect, but it can calm the following bees, which is the murky bee. We don't know the murky bee right now, but you can also see how it can be bred into other um, flowers. And you can see all of the flowers that you can breed. Um, for example, all three of the base ones do not have any uh, special effects other than the ability to calm certain bees. But we can get cross pollination which potentially might be happening here but it more, more likely will happen when we actually spin the combs talking of which we need to actually get some more uh benches and stuff done so let me get that sorted what i want to do is create a barrel next a barrel is a able to store a large amount of a single type of liquid we need waterproofing which comes from the wonderful um what are these called lily pads so we'll just pop that over there and we're going to just craft um, a few lots of those so we can craft a barrel. Um, why can I not craft a barrel? What are we missing? There we go. These may I have. Thank you. So I actually do want to craft two because I want one for water and for tree sap. So let's get two so that we can pop those both down. And let's pop them... I don't know. Let's pop them right next to each other there. So if you remember, we popped a little resin canister or wooden canister here. I am going to put the tree uh, sap, the resin, in the top tank. At the moment, I've only got one of these little cartons. Maybe I can make a new one. Let's check it out. Um, that's moved over a little bit too far. Let's see. Tools. Yes, I can with this waterproofing, which is very cool. Um, but of course, I do need to make sure I've got the right stuff open. I am just going to craft all of those and I'm going to pop that in probably that chest. Can I just... There we go. Nice, because it is my sort of crafty chest. And then what we're going to do is just... I just want another one so that we can do two at a time. Now, are you fully drained? You are. So what we can do is just top down that tree. You don't get the um, axe back, which is a little bit of a shame. But uh, not the axe, the tree tap back. But, you know, you get all of this resin out of it. So I have popped over here to the rain barrels because I would like all of this glorious water, please. And now, because they are lovely and empty, I should be able to pick these up without any issue. And that completed a nice quest for us. What we really should do is craft a basic apiary. So let's get on that. It takes 10 honeycombs, 10 wood planks and 10 logs which is fantastic. I'm actually thinking I'm going to craft two right now. And then what we want is some B frames as well. So we can craft, I think two would be good. And there we go. Pimp, my hive is completed. And now the best block in the game, the B box. Because if you have a look, at my inventory and this um, this inventory here, we're starting to get a little full on bees and that's getting a little bit insane. Now what we need is a large crate in addition, so let's get one of those built and then we can craft our bee box. Excuse me. Oh, oh, um, see? I just don't have room for anything. We can craft our bee box and let's pop our bee box down. Now, for the moment, I'm just going to pop them down over here. I think that will be fine. And we are going to throw common bees. Now, this bee box will only hold one type. Um, you can see that the um, uncommon bee won't go in. Um, and this is how we can actually have a look. So you can see that there's three of this type with these traits. Now, if we have a look at our B component, what we have is lifespan is the top one. It's normal for this particular B. Uh, let's actually look at the common B because that's what we're currently working on. It can be a three or a four, which is either short or normal. We can have a light, uh, productiv productivity of normal, fertility of fertile, and stability normal or stable. Stability 
actually um, gives us the um, the mutation. Um, the lifespan de uh, defines how long the bee will last before it sort of like finishes its cycle. Productivity is how much honeycomb or, or items you get out of it. Fertile is how many bees you get out of it as well. What we can do is you can see, for example, on this one, we have lifespan of four, but we have an inherited lifespan on one of the sides of three, uh, which is why you've got the four little lines on the three on the third square. Um, I kind of can't show you because, you know, it's, it's hilarious. But you can see here that what we have is one bee with these traits, zero queens and zero blessed bees. But if we look here, we have three bees and you can see B. This would be where the queen is and that's where the blessed queen would be. Uh, do we have any more bees hanging around? We do. Uh, what are you? Uncommon bee and uncommon bee, which will not go in this um, this bee box. So there we go. Let's actually pop down our first apiary. I think that would be a good idea and actually do or try to do our first cross breeding. I'm quite excited about. So we'll pop it down here. Now... If we have a look at our bees here, um, we can see that the common bee, if bred with a forest bee, will give us the verdant bee. Um, if we cross the common and I think this is the uncommon, we potentially could get the dream bee. What we're going to do, I think, is just start from the top and work down. Now, there are some requirements for each breeding, and we will have a quick nose at that in a second. But first things first, uh, let's get a common bee and a forest bee for crossbreeding. Do we have a spare one? We have a spare forest there. And of course, we also have one here. Now, you, it is probably good to be very picky. The picky bit I'm going to be on is the blue number. I want the lowest blue number we have. And currently, it's this one or, or this one. They're both the same. Um... So, yeah, let's grab that one and then we're going to go to our apiary and pop this one in with the forest bee. And we can see here we are about to get our first crossbreeding. And I'm going to pop the wooden frame in here so we get some wooden frame resources out of it. We can see that the queen has a lifespan of 234 seconds, I think, in total. And you see it ticking down there, which is pretty good. So I am just going to keep working through here. We're going to have a look at the rewards. Uh, claim this, for example. And you can see here that what we need is the Verdant Bee. Okay, is that what I'm currently working on? Verdant Bee, it is. Oh, look at that. It's almost like I've played it before. Whilst we're waiting on the crossbreeding, I do want to start building some other machines. In particular, I really would like a infuser. So we need a barrel, a, some 10 wood planks, some waterproofing, which should be fine. There we go. We actually had it all in our inventory. Craft, and there we go. We have a little infuser. Um, I'm going to pop it in this corner here. And what you can do is you can infuse items with it. So um, I've filled up a little, um, a little bit of, uh, let's actually sort out my inventory. I filled up a wooden canister with resin and I'm going to fill the resin tank. Now, what we want is we do want a few, um, I think, logs. So let's get some of those and planks and we will want some sticks as well. Um, but for the moment, uh, can I half this? No, we can only do planks and sticks, which is fine. I'm going to make some more planks nope don't need to i'm gonna make some more sticks there we go why do i have a bee in here so whilst we're infusing i am just going to continue making some items we do have some advanced um buildings for the bees i'm not going to worry about them too much right now what i am going to worry about is the uncapping bench so we need another one of those uh, let's open that up so i have some more planks so we need two of those. Yeah, let's craft away. So we now have an uncapping bench. And I do want... Um, 
it just this? We need the centrifuge or the extractor. Ah, we're going to need glue. Ooh. Okay, so we might have to use the town's extractor for a little while. Um, I think I am going to pop maybe the little bee stuff out here for the moment. Oh, we have bees that are done. Oh, we also have our apiary done as well. Oh, let's go check that out. Okay, we have a forest, a forest, and a common. They're all um, purebred right now. So we're going to do the same here and just work them through. It would be good if we could make more frames because just getting these items would be great. Now we are crafting propolis from uncapping here. So we have um, a four propolis there. They sell for money, but they're more important than that because they will actually make glue. And glue will give us the sawmill. Well, it unlocks the sawmill because it unlocks wooden cogs. How many wooden cogs do we need for this? Five. How much glue is that? Uh, five. It's probably doable. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get, let's get as many of these as I can. We can, we can get three, which is perfect. Give me glue, please. So there we go. We have enough for five cogs. Remember, we need five cogs for, uh, this particular machine. So let's get five crafted up. And now we can craft up the saw, what is this called? The sawmill. And there we go. Oh, fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pick up this sawmill eventually, you know, um, after a little while. And I'm going to replace it with the upgraded sawmill, which is very exciting. We'll pop that back in there. Uh, we'll also pop those items in there as well for the moment. Now, uh, let's grab 99 wood and we will pop that in here. And... Now you can see the option here. Now it's at this point that I saw the hold shift for info in the bottom right. I looked here and you can actually use your arrow keys. So if you're finding using the mouse for these buttons, and it can be for all of, not this one, that doesn't have one. Um, it can be used for all of these where there's a button. So you can actually use your arrow keys and what you do with the upgraded machines or this level of upgrade anyway, is you wind them up. Um, once it's fully wound up, which is sort of like fully there, it has however many seconds left and it will just process through whatever you have in here, which is glorious. You can see a little icon on the display there that it's still working. I recommend pushing forward as quickly as you can to get that sawmill because you do use a lot of wood we have our first hybrid. So it's a forest common bee. That's a purebred. And that's a hybrid as well. Hopefully they're not going to cancel each other out. Because this one's a common forest. This one's a forest common. But I am just going to, to, to throw that through. Um, at the moment, I'm not worrying about the wooden frames because I don't have the extractor yet. Um, but I am working on getting the upgraded version of this because we have the five wooden cogs so we just need um another however many of those uh, one okay let's get the the item <laughs> i'm excited <gasps> we can craft it there we go um it's not necessary but it's just cool because you can put six in and get six out and of course you have the automation there so whilst we're waiting on various things to crossbreed etc i did think that we should actually go and uh talk to dr benjamin bhd oh you again what do you want now and we can talk to them which i will do so only four species rediscovered i can see more species from here do better and then there's the shop which we currently don't have any money which i've got no issue with but you can see here that Dr. Benjamin uh, will give you some tips. So, for example, uncommon question mark, 
There's only one hive un of uncommon bees on this island. I know. I hit it. Ah, ha ha ha. I know. I found it. <laughs> um, so we can click buy and then what we can do is move through. So for example, if we wanted to know how to make vibrant bees. Uh, vibrant bees? You're telling me you haven't even crossbed common and verge yet? Um, it's, very, it's very rude, but if there is one in here that I noticed here. For example, drowsy bee. Inexperienced beginners do find it difficult to time a forest to uncommon queen to produce offspring during dawn or dusk. But experts like myself never have that sort of trouble. So if you are sort of like wondering how do I do various bits and pieces, this dude here will help you. Um, and yeah, I, I found that. I found him nifty. There's also like a quest board here, but we need to have discovered x amount of bees uh, in the bottom right there you can see for benjamin's tests we need to discover 10 bees we only have four currently now considering benjamin was so rude i thought i'd use their extractor um so we're just gonna throw in all of these and as you can see we can use the mechanism here they actually have i think a a full one so if we use the down arrow we can increase the rpm and get these uh what are these called these frames on the spin as you can see we have ended up with some very unusual items once we finished spinning we got all of our frames back they took a bit of damage which is not an issue we also got some seeds for honey roses and beekeepers delight we also got beeswax, um, which gives us new items for crafting. And what was that? Uh, bee pollen and honey. I brought a wooden canister. I filled that up there. So it's pretty good. But we can talk to anyone really. Go to the shop and we can sell, for example, this bee pollen for eight rubies. And we have our first bit of money. <laughs> After all this time. This is not a game you rush, by the way, guys. It is, to me, just the chillest, loveliest game. Um, when, when you're a little bit stressed, you know, you can just totally enjoy. Oh, I didn't check. I just... Oh, dear. I may... Oh, I may have made mistakes. Those who are eagle-eyed would have noticed the mistakes I made. I was just so excited to get my frames back in there. So you're probably wondering how you actually make money in the game. One of the key ways is making drinks from honey and water. And if we have a look here at the fermenter, that is the key way. Um, so we have 10 of those. We have 10 infused banks. No, we don't. We will in a second. It's not an issue. Can I do this? Yes. There we go. I have a fermenter. Let's grab that out. Pop that down. Let's uh, let's pick this up and pop that there. There we go. Right, so this will require honey. If I go here, I have some honey. And we'll pop that in here. No, that's for the water. Honey goes there. And we have a water barrel. And we have a little water wooden canister. Or, yeah, water wooden canister. Let's wait for this to fill up. We'll move it over. And then we will start fermenting drink or happy cola. Okay, we have a, another blessed bee. We also have a common bee and a common bee. Yeah, I definitely messed it up, I think. But hey, no one could be perfect. There we go. We can craft our centrifuge. Oh, I'm so excited to use it. Okay, um, let's pop that down. There we go. And we can now in all of our frames glorious and yes please i'd like to use this one and we're gonna spin up our centrifuge all of these frames are ready for reuse we actually will see one get destroyed this time which is pretty cool um you see here this one only has one use left and uh yeah we're getting a little bit more money uh honey which will make apicola which will make money it's pretty good um, and we have, we have, oh, we have a new one. We have a new bee. I was so excited. 
And it's Undiscovered Bee. What did we get? We got... I learned more. <laughs> A verdant bee. Um, verdant bee. The verdant bee was the first domesticated bee species in the um, archipelago. Breeding the verdant bee is a common rite of passage for many new beekeepers starting their apiculture journey. So what we need is another verdant bee because we want to make sure we have a verdant bee. If that makes sense. So we're going to grab a forest, going to pop it in with a common and hope for another one to come through. So that then what I can do is put a new beehive down and just start creating verdant bees to get a backstop. Um, but actually, I think this is the perfect place to end it. You've seen a new bee species be created. You've seen the um, first sort of step on automation in regards to this world. And we've seen the glorious town. Got a little bit of a base going. I, I genuinely quite pleased at how well we did with all of our finds over there. It was pretty cool. So yes, I do want to say that I really do enjoy this game. I think the artwork is amazing. I think the style of gameplay is great. It is slow and you may not actually see that from this video because it will get heavily edited down for time. So a lot of the sort of sitting around waiting for the bees to breed and all of that will have been cut out. But that being said, I've been recording for an hour and 40 two minutes so far and it's felt like 10 minutes this game is glorious the soundtrack uh just the the standard sort of like bees and birds in the background the music's good when it kicks in um the art style is just right up my alley and there is enough to keep me busy but it's one of those peaceful games so if you're looking for one of those games i couldn't recommend this game highly enough the same description is linked down in the description do leave me a comment let me know what you thought whether or not you'd like to see another episode maybe we can see if we can go uh, to the new aisle or do some more breeding um, all of that good stuff and yeah thank you very much for watching liking commenting subscribing all of that amazing stuff that you guys do and of course um, a very, very special thank you to my wonderful Patreons. Their names are scrolling across the screen as I speak. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.